All right, here we are working on animations. Um, got a new stance animations. Uh, this animation is a little bit better than the one before. You can see that um, his legs are slightly off angle. They're not like head on where he's standing, which gives him sort of a rakish look and also uh, helps to emphasize the 3D-ness of this character. But standing here, oh, did I, f I forgot to, ah, forgot to enable, hold on, let's check something out here. This will look a little better. Turn on this whole animation. I was messing with the hair color and had to set it to just one frame. So there, now he actually breathes and looks around a little bit. So yeah, this is nice to have this uh, stance animation. And I'm thinking there'll be a couple different sword stances. Um, there'll be a sword stance right like this. And I'm thinking there'll be another sword stance, probably double-handed to keep things simple. Um, and the reason I need to keep things as simple as possible, right? Like keep it to just two stances, for example, uh, rather than like three or four stances is the more stances there are, the more it's just going to like make all of the animations in the entire game a lot more complicated because you can see like from this i've already started working on a sword animation right here and i've had to split out um the character's eyes belt and hair because i'm going to this is going to be an armor system or there will eventually be an armor system where you can have a different helmet different hair different eyes different belt, different skin tone, different clothes, uh, maybe even a different weapon, but definitely a cloak um, or a cape or, you know, all sorts of things like that where they would come off your shoulders. We're talking shoulder armor, different gloves, different boots, uh, like breastplate, all that kind of stuff. This is going to be one of the, uh, the, one of the fun parts of this game, I'm thinking, is going to be customizing your character, right? Changing your hairstyle and all that kind of stuff to create a, a personalized character. And then also um, um, having so all sorts of different armor that you can win in battle or also buy from, uh, from the store to change the look of your character piece by piece. So it's not like you buy one whole set of armor, you buy like a different helmet and boots and things like that so uh because of that it's uh for every single one of these animations right here's like this the idle animation there's going to be like two idle animations and two run animations and two sword animations and two shield animations and two throwing animations and two unsheathing animations like every single one of these has to be redone for every single piece of armor that i create so if i create a cloak then i have to create that that cloak has to be animated for every single one of these animations here. This may be something I even have to hire help with eventually, because I remember doing this for Songbringer, and when I just simply added the shirt to the player, it was like a week or two worth of work to to uh, reanimate everything. And even though it was in layers, which is great, you know, like here's this animation here with Rock swinging his sword. You can see this is kind of what it looks like. Um, <clears throat> for this, we've got everything in layers, so you can like turn off the hat, turn off the shirt. You know what I mean? It's pretty nice to have this all out in layers and stuff like that, and it really helped. I had to write some scripts and stuff like that to help me export everything for Songbringer, but for Wraithbinder, this is all gonna have to be voxel art. So, um, so yeah, I'm trying to keep things as minimal as possible but still make it varied enough that it's interesting to play. So you need two stances at least. I may not need actually two idols. I may not need two runs, but I definitely need two sword swings. So just walk in that delicate balance right now. Um, yeah, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Plugging away at animations.